Having multiple sources of income and diversifying your portfolio has always been important. But in this inflation-ridden time, it becomes even more important. Chances are your day job sucks and you want to get rid of it because you simply don't like working tirelessly for hours and that too for someone else's progress. But you also can't just kick into your employer's office and quit the job. Can you? Well, I am sure not many of us have this option and neither do we have the courage for this bold step. We need the pay we get from our workplace to put food on our table cover the rent for shelter over our heads, and provide for our basic necessities. But nevertheless, the day job is not ideal for you if you want to become successful in life, and I'm going to prove it to you in this video. And along with that, I will also enlighten you with information on the important subject of diversifying income streams. But before I move on, let me first tell you the basic reason behind you being trapped by your job. It can be discouraging to feel stuck in such circumstances. I understand how hopeless it feels, but two factors are at play here that led you to this disparity. One is that your income without your job is pretty much insignificant. And the second reason is your spending is way out of control. You wouldn't require the work if you had unlimited income or if you had minimal to no costs. Now, let me tell you why a job is not a favorable option for you to choose in your life. First and foremost, although it may seem like you'll be there permanently, all kinds of employment are temporary. You will need to quit the job no matter what. Either the employer would find someone better than you or the need for your post would vanish eventually. One great example of this is the unemployed people due to technological advances. Machines have taken over their work and they have been fired. One or the other of these is bound to happen sooner or later. So, while you still have time, why not ensure that you leave on your terms? For this to happen, you need to start working right away. The second reason I despise jobs is that your body is a permanent part of you and you only get this once in your lifetime. Don't squander it on a job you detest, please. Work on ways to quit that employment or maximize your current position immediately. When you are young and healthy, you have all the energy in the world. You can work tirelessly, require very little sleep, and have your cognitive ability working at full blast. Later, you'll require all of these things. You'll require it for your upcoming employment, future professional endeavors, and retirement. Don't give all of these blessings in making someone else's dream come true. Prioritize your ambitions and consider your family and future self. These are the most important things in a person's life. Let nothing foreshadow these things. I am sure that by now you also understand the basic reason behind my disliking of jobs. With that out of the way, let me show you what you can do to get out of your current situation. You won't be able to leave your current employment by tomorrow morning if you take the steps I advise. Instead, these measures will help you progressively adopt the mentality necessary to quit your job. In addition to making you happier, they'll help you in the jobs you get after this. 1. Concentrate on why you can, rather than why you can't. Focus on all the great things that will happen if you quit your job. You can get your dream life, unlimited freedom, and more time with your loved ones. These are the things you should strive for. Don't focus on the negative things that hold you back. 2. Recognize the worst is probably not going to happen. If you lose your job, your family probably won't become homeless and hungry. You might have to move in with your mom or dad, swallow some pride, and experience great discomfort. However, it will not be permanent. You will get out of it soon enough if you believe in yourself for once. 3. Stop honing out for whatever it is you hope will occur. 
Now this is the moment to start acting. No one is going to come to rescue and save you from misery. Only you can do that. Most likely, you won't act morally at first. However, being a sitting duck won't get you anything in life. Mark my words. Coming towards the last and most important part of the entire video, you have to know why having more than a single income stream is so important. It is probably the single most important thing I can teach you. All the great entrepreneurs and businessmen follow this rule. The old proverb, don't put your eggs in one basket, is often used to best explain the concept. And let me tell you this, this proverb fits nowhere else so perfectly as it does this scenario. When an individual has several cash flow sources that create multiple income streams, he is better equipped to handle the loss of one of his income sources. You can think of the idea as a backup plan. If you have somehow ended up losing your job, which is, let's say, your main income stream right now, you would still have other sources to support you in the meantime. You could see the whole theory practically come into play when the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world. The whole economy took a hit as the industries became non-operational and businesses were shut down for months. Millions of people were laid off and had no money to support themselves. Who survived the whole scenario and triumphed in the end? Well, you guessed it. The ones who always believed in multiple sources of income. While one or more of these sources for earnings did suffer during the pandemic, they had at least one stream in their favor that could fund them through the dark times. We can learn through this whole scenario why and how we should always be prepared for the worst. 